Hello, boys and girls. It's time for story time with Nana. Libby and I are coming to you fireside to do Officer, Buckle, and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. And I should probably tell you that this is a Caldecott award-winning book. Officer, Buckle, and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in that field. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to the bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. <laughs> Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Natville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Natville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Natville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawings showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to the bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, daycare centers, were all calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools everywhere. He and Gloria went and children sat up and listened. After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for an ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Then one day, 
a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College of Tort Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, don't go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal of Natville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep, and so did the audience. After Gloria left, Natville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a bowl of banana pudding. Mm. Splat, splatter, sploosh, everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her hammer. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend, your friend, Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip number 101. Always stick with your buddy. The end. What do you think about that, Lou? Are you my buddy? Did you help with the story today? Did you help with the story? Yes, you did. All right, high five. That was Officer Buckle and Gloria by Peggy Rathman. Remember the author's name. If you're going to the library, you can uh, tell the librarian the name of the author and she can help you find this book right away. If you want your own copy, you can look in the description below and we'll have a link so that you can buy your own copy. And until next week, uh, that was Storytime with Nana. Be sure to hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. We'll see you later.